Now, there was something that, like Jerry was saying, that listening to the beginning and the intro of the song, because we haven't been there for a while, we've been floating our attention to all the other stuff. I think something that would be cool and dramatic is having like a hint of the chorus kind of creep in, right? Like that. Yeah. Like and you to have the melody there. I mean, I'm sounding like a dead walrus right now. You could freak it. But yeah. Um, make it sound like you're like chopping a sample, but you're just sampling my vocal from the hook. So what I'll do is I'm going to create an audio track just for that purpose. And I'll put it right above that. And I'll take the lead from the chorus here. So let's let's do that here. But what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to solo my lead bus. I'm going to go to this track here, 17, and hit the record enable button. And I'm going to set this back to resampling. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of record the vocal. Feeling alone in the dark, but we can make the light shine through. We've been stuck in the cold and it's hard, but soon we're going to feel brand new. When it all falls apart, just know that it's not on you, yeah. When it all fades out, you know we'll make the light shine through. Now, here's why I resampled the vocal rather than just copy it over and, you know, change all the, the parameters and settings that I have on my plugins and effects and things like that. It's because I also wanted it to capture the reverb, the doubler, everything that I'm also sending that vocal to. So I'm treating it as I would a sample. So I'm going to do intro sample, right? And let's go ahead and bring them into the beginning here. And then what I'm going to do here is let's figure out where it comes in. So I'm going to have this here like that. Actually, the whole phrase would be cool. Now what we're going to do is put a filter on that vocal. So let me give it another color here. No, that's, uh, how about pink? Yeah, this, it sounds like it would be a pink color. There we go. Automate this, right click, show automation. Let's bring it in and just kind of creep it right around here and start creeping it in all the way through like this. I want to give a little bit more space, so I'm going to put a reverb right there, wash it out a little bit more. I was going to say, is there anything you could put on it to make it sound more like I got you. I record got you. vinyl-y, you know what I mean? Like. So I'll do a little RC20. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Right after the, the reverb. So I'm going to just repeat that one phrase there. Gonna yeah. Be, and then be cool. And just hold shift so I can erase all that other automation that I've added. Put it right over here. Similar to like that. Just kind of have it creep in like this, right? Let's try maybe like like some yeah. cool little gate action there. I'm going to use the auto pan for this. And instead of having it pan left and right, I'm going to treat the auto pan as a cool little gate. And in order to do that, we set the amount up. And instead of the phasing going 180, straight zero. So you get this kind of effect here. So 16th note here, let's change the shape. Cuts it in, and then we'll just have it in for that section. So kind of give that kind of effect there. Oh, <laughs> 